Hello everyone and welcome back to Trash Gamers. I'm Howl. And I'm Izzy. And we are back in Twilight Princess. Yes we are. I'm yeah. gonna leave here. Yep. Do it. Leave here. And we're gonna go do some detective work. Yes. Uh, I think, to spoil the detective story, you gotta go find Prince Rollis. Uh, who is here? <coughs> I think, no. Where is he? Um... You need to warp to Kakariko Village. It's not, it's not going to let you warp where there's people seeing you. Yeah, climb up there. You don't need Midna because Human Link has hands. Human Link has thumbs! Right. How about here? There we go. Jeez. Uh, so where are we going? To the right. Not obviously not that far. Zoom. I thought you would tell me when to stop. Uh, the bottom right one. At the right. There you go. <laughs> Off to a great start. <coughs> you know, I was um. I, I I got to do driver's ed. Yeah. And the teacher always hated driving with me. Why is that? Because he would say go right, and I would go left. Uh-huh. So this is something that has been plaguing me ever since childhood. All right, turn into a human. I'll let you. Unless someone can see. All right, so you need to go to the graveyard, which is to the right. Yeah. Right around this path. And back there, I think. I think that's where the graveyard is. Alright, so he should be here. And basically, if you would have been talking to the Zoras in Zora's domain, they would have told you, like, hey, uh, Prince Rollis might know something about this. Nice. Yeah, I hate that it takes you out of that. It's like the stagger is bad enough, you know. Jesus. Gonna jump. There you go. Good puppy. I don't know how many of those I got, but I like collecting. Uh, that's your eighth one. Okay. I think there are 60 or 70 in the game. Oh, like fuck that. that. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, so. He is here. Supposedly. I'm about to be attacked. Yep. Indeed you are. <coughs> nice. Oh, well, I, think, oh uh, I think you gotta go down that tunnel to the... I'm not gonna give you a direction, but... There is a tunnel on this platform. To the left. That's to the right. To the left. I'll get there. I'm about to be attacked. You need to find it. Yeah, you got another one. Oh. Oh, okay. So here we go. Here's a... I don't know what you're doing now. Looking for the tunnel. Oh, you were... It's left. Not there. Ass. The birds start attacking you once you're on your final fours. This is okay. You know, the secret cave there was is. a really hot picture of Link and the bird from... Which one, Cass? The or blue one. The volley. You can both... <laughs> One's white. There's a third one, yeah. There's a third one that is white. But there's two blue birds. There's Cass, who looks like a parrot. The daddy bird. They're both daddy birds. Jesus Christ! Um, I mean, they are. There's one that's a parrot... And there's one that's more like an eagle or a hawk. This is definitely not a hawk or an eagle. Okay, so you're talking about cats. Okay. I swear they're both blue daddy birds. I don't think so. I mean, it's true. Why can't there be one daddy bird and one twink bird? Like, why? Because, okay, do you remember your um, Switch profile icon? Mm-hmm. That's a blue daddy bird from Breath of the Wild. That's Falco. 
I thought I picked Falco. I could be crazy too. I don't think so though. Uh, I'll pull this up while you're talking to dude. I think the other bluebird's name is Rivali. Yeah. He's I guess he's more gray than blue though. But he has Oh, he's a navy blue, okay. Yeah. That's why I didn't pick up. Okay, yeah. so the one I was talking about was a sky blue. Yeah, and he has that blue uh scarf too that made me think of him, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so the one I was talking about was the sky blue one. Okay. He's not that much of a daddy either. He, he, does, he could be, but he's, he doesn't have that himbo body. No, he does not. He's definitely not a himbo. Yeah, so I'm talking about the himbo body. Yeah, you're talking about Cass. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, we have verified he is talking <laughs> about Cass now. Yes. I don't know their name. My mother came to me in a dream. She showed me your image. That's freaky. Here. She spoke of a youth who would save our domain and steal my feet. My name is Papa. Again, weird, but cool. I must thank you for all you've done. If there is anything I can ever do for you, please tell me. Please. Please. <laughs> anything. Tell me. Anything. Uh, is it an item you can actually show them? Probably. Yep, there is. Yeah. Show him the net. Hmm, the beast man of the story might not work out. But more important is this one, I share this project. Backstory. It must be a repress. That is the rare specimen found only in the Zimmer village. It feeds on the valuable time of Coral. So it has happened even in the realm. Alex! That's probably not going home. My earring is made of this color. I only wear it on the right ear because I'm deaf. And that's a good tip. And then you can be deaf. You know I had to look that up. <laughs> yeah. I was like, which ear is it? You have yeah. a 50 50s chance of it being one or the other. Right. I received it from my mother, who was a hooker. That's such an old thing, Yeah, too. it is. It came out of, like, hanky code times. Yeah. No. But it's fine. I didn't look at it. As I look at home, I got to what my mother was What I should be doing now. Fucking death. <laughs> I will return to my village. It's like, all the death. That's my job! The request can be found in the mother and temple. In the rest of it, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. The fissile part. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Enjoying yourself? Bah! <laughs> yes. Too much, perhaps. Alright, we're back to Zora's domain. I'm swimming. Blah 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 blah. Get on the ledge. Bah. Get That's on. a corner. There you go. It's a. You see, it's it's sharp there. Does it matter? Yeah. If I were swimming and I needed to get up on the ledge, I would still you grab a corner. You could polygons meet here. I can't grab. <laughs> That's so stupid. All right, where am I warping to? Uh, back to Zora's domain. Oh God damn it! Fine. Fuck. <laughs> All I want to do is warp! <laughs> enter this tiny fucking hole! You're good at entering tiny fucking holes. I know. <laughs> so good that I make dildos to do it too. Alright. The mist effects don't make sense inside the tunnel. <laughs> it doesn't. A lot of this game doesn't make sense. Yeah. It tries. Alright, the topmost one. All right, so it says that um, you need to jump down the waterfall again. Okay. Um, and then go to the east, and you should see two large rocks sticking up from underwater. Um, it says toss out your fishing rod and wait for it to sink down into the water, and you should reel in the weak fish, apparently. Okay. Is that how I defeat the monster? Uh, sure, at least bait or satisfy the monster. I mean, I can satisfy the monster. That's a fun question. Why hasn't fishing ever been used in a boss battle? 
probably because they can't figure out how to make it work. I mean, there was a big fish in Majora's Mask as a boss. Um, if they had used a fishing mechanic for that, that would have been really fun, actually. Alright, so I guess go on that ledge to the right. I guess. I'm assuming those are the mother and child rocks. I'm assuming. I don't actually know. Mother and child rocks. I guess. And then turn around. Try to face where you're looking. Um, there's a rock. Yeah, between those two, I guess. So I guess take out your fishing pole. You name for that? Oh, I'll take out my pole, all right. Oh no. <coughs> With your gay ring. Can you do it? That's not where I wanted to go. Nope. Pull it out, or else another fish will get you. How do I pull out? <laughs> yeah, you asked that question a lot. There you go. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Remember, you gotta pull back on the control stick, right? Fuck. I dropped the controller. Jesus. <laughs> okay, that was way too early. There's a red fish. I think that's the reef fish. I do believe it is. Let's see if it comes over to you. Hopefully. Yep, here he comes. Wait. Wait. Now. Now pull him in. You got this. Maybe. You did it. Yeah. This reek fish <laughs> is 26 inches. I can take it. Challenge accepted. Right, exactly. You can see the fish you've caught by pressing start. Cool, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <coughs> wait, wait. Turn into wolf thing. We're too late. Now what? Sniff. Be a snoofy puppy. Forget the person, yes. I hate that it does that. I should be able to know all sense. Yeah, it does not make sense at all. Alright, so now you can go to the Red Dawn map again. As human. Um, yeah, this game and Skyward Sword try to create this kind of tracking mechanism. Um, which I hated in both games. I like the idea of being able to sniff stuff and track stuff. But like the whole dark world it creates is stupid. The fact that you forget sense is stupid. The fact that you largely can just follow usually the linear paths to know where to go. Um, it's like, why do you need a scent to know how to progress? Yeah. Makes no sense. Um, it's like, I like the idea of it, but I wish it was more important. Um, like, um, if it did it in a maze, where you have to use the scent in order to know which way to go. Yeah. Uh, like if they used the scent in the Lost Woods. That would have been cool. <coughs> Still coughing a little bit. Alright. <coughs> Alright, onward you go. Oh, the bitch of God. Yep. Alright. Oh, but you can use Wolf Link to track where to go. Oh. I thought the bitch was still going to be there, and you'd have to talk to her. Oh, yeah, I see platforms. You don't want to fall in that water, I guess. Will I die? Oh, uh, probably. I don't know. Just because they're saying it's so cold and everything. Makes sense. But I am wolf. Right. I have fur. Bitch. You're doing great. Yeah, there are a lot of pros here apparently, but we're ignoring them you now, so it's fine. 
And those are white wolfos, and the guide says you can just ignore them for the most part. Good, because that's what's happening. Like you can dodge, you can dodge them occasionally, but there's no reason to actually fight them. It's crazy how like not much is damaging you much anymore at this point in the game. Like you have so many hearts, it's like nothing phases you, you know. I have to go up. Uh, how does one go up? That's why the scent is leading me. Yeah, probably get out of the scent mode and see how to actually progress around it. Oh, to the left. Yeah, you can just walk up. There you go. Good puppy. Good puppy. It's making you think a little bit, huh? Maybe. <laughs> well, I guess I got this one. Maybe. How do we know? It said looks wrong. It said to go up. Yeah, that, yeah, you might be able to go to the left though instead. Instead of right, I mean. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Yeah, just don't fall though. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's lots of ledges to fall down, so be careful. Ice yeah. keys, yeah, fuck those. Oh, nice. I think you did that completely accidentally, but take it, right? That was completely accidental. Now the sense is going this way. Looks like it. Yeah. Doing great. Oh, yeah, Howling Stone. Yeah, do that. What is this? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. That's fun. Up, center, down, center, down. Up, center, down. Cool. Now, can you do it? It's all complex, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow! You may call me Lady Papa. <laughs> nice. Just timing is all off. <laughs> you got it, though. Maybe. Oh. Your timing got off a little bit in the second half. Maybe. Oh shit. So close. That's better. Oh. Maybe. Yeah? No. You got it. Yeah! Good job. I did it. It demands uh, some pretty strict accuracy, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not very forgiving. Nice. <laughs> Maybe. No. Try again. <laughs> Good. Nice.
thankfully it doesn't require you to be perfect though. Yeah. It's like you have to be 95% perfect. <laughs> I think it's one of the few original songs you howl. Okay. Yeah, you know, I think. Now it says that we could warp to where he's going to appear as a soldier, but it'll be easier once we make the warp in Snow Peak. Okay. So we'll probably be doing that in a second, but we're going to start by... Well, don't I have to continue going for the fish? Yeah. The teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and fight back. Uh-huh. Fight back. Fight back. We really need a back scratcher. Yeah. Yes, I'm tired of. Oh, I almost choked on that. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm tired of scratching my back with a toothpick. Yeah. Anyways, I guess that's where he's gonna be. Yeah. Cool. It's actually back where Rollis was. Okay. No. Well, I will do that. After following this synth, I guess? Right. Yeah, keep following the synth for now. Well, I guess you just gotta dig there. Uh -huh. Alright, I don't think you need to be Wolf Link for this part. Well, here's the... Because it's pretty... It's so linear, I think. And we'll requires play. thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> it requires thumbs. Yeah, you're almost there, though. Almost there. We'll definitely be getting to the dungeon uh, in this episode. Nicely done. Nicely done, also. Because those guys, I think, if they touch you, you get frozen. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah. Which is always my least favorite thing in any video game. Just because... Being staggered or frozen. Yeah, those are my least favorite things. I'd rather just take extra damage. Honestly. Yeah. Look at this fucker. I'm just chilling. Forget it, chilling. Ha <laughs> ha! Not Look at those handprints. Anymore. Right. Alright, you're about to get uh, your um, portal. This looks so open, but the map is being like a super thin area. There we go. I think the most annoying part of this is going to be those ice keys. Cool. Yeah. Three of them. Okay. Oh, uh, I didn't get them all. But you got the ice keys, which is probably a good thing. Yes. You can kill all three at once. I know, I'm trying. I can't do it. Yeah. There we go. Nicely done. Alright, so now that we have the portal, now we can go and get that sword skill real quick. And then we'll be back and we'll be ready to go into the, go into the dungeon. Yay. So we'll, be able, we'll be able to do all that in this. Don't go up to him yet. Just do warp. Uh, we're going to warp over to Caprico Village. It's the... to the right. More to the right. That area. Bottom right one. Yep. And we're just going back to the graveyard. And I think when we get to the dungeon, that'll be the end of the episode. Okay. Yep. Should have done a chapter in two episodes. Okay. It's pretty good.
uh, warp into human form, or uh, transform into human form. We'll go behind the house and do it. Or that way. Anyway, we'll work. So obnoxious. <coughs> so obnoxious. But you've been getting really good at this game, though. Yeah. I think the ragiest parts for you have been like mini games. Yeah. Um, but you're starting to really get a handle handle of the combat. Like that last dungeon gave you no trouble. Yeah. Now where is this at? I saw him. No, you stay human. Just remember it's a sword thing. Hmm, okay. And then after you do this, you can warp back to Snow Peak. Okay. Yep. And that might be the end of the episode, depending on how long it takes to do this. Yeah. I think this one's a fairly easy one. <coughs> I've warned you of this before. If you fail, I will kill you. And now you die. Cool. Do you wish to master this skill? Very well. Before we begin, I must test you to know the last one. Mortal Jaw. Oh, remember, you don't lock on. Uh, put your sword away. I say. Nope, you're the other A. You gotta get close to him and then just press A without moving. Without moving. <laughs> now. There you go. Strongest move in the game. Yeah. But it's a little tough to execute. The jump strike. This one's pretty easy. Compared to some of the other ones, anyway. Yeah. One of the basic sword techniques is the jump attack. It inflicts great damage. Inflicts, but none would call it effective against multiple foes. In fact, it's quite useless. Uh, prepare a jump attack, but focus power in the blade. The surge the blade releases can strike all enemies around you. So it's like lock on and just hold the A button. Yeah, that. Wait for the right time to do it, though, apparently. Now. Okay. So when you hear that chink of your sword, that means it's ready. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Pretty easy. So this will be good for uh, the warp thingies. Oh, you're right. It would be. Yeah. Because it can just do multiple enemies at once. The catch is it does that holding thing that the wolf link does. Yeah, I mean, I was having trouble with that for the spin move, too. Yeah. So. It's just like getting the timing on that is tough. And neither of those would be that bad if, like, you're hit, but doesn't stagger you out of it. Yeah. That's what makes it frustrating. All right, so now we're back to uh, Snow Peak. Is there anything here that can give me hearts? Uh, a lot of things that can take it away. Okay. Uh, but I think you'll get... I was hoping to get some, uh, some grass real quick. Uh, why don't you pull back some of those gravestones? <coughs> well, there's rupees. Not that that's useful. I was like, maybe one of them will have a heart. Nope. Maybe not. That's a shot. Yeah. I think you might have some hearts coming up in the next area, though. I think it's pretty... I think Snow Peak is pretty generous with hearts. I think, anyway. Oh. There you go. Uh, no, you were right, you were right, you were right. Go back. 
the left, that one, yeah. <coughs> you can't warp to purple spots. Purple spots indicate where dungeons are, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Blue are your warp portals. Make sure to turn back into human before you approach the beast. Watch out for all the ice keys that want to fuck you up. I see that. Oh, there's a heart to your left. Yes. There's that. Yep. That was awesome. Okay. So, you want to call an episode here? Uh. No, keep going. You have like two paragraphs of stuff to do. Let's get to the dungeon. And then we'll call it a day. Ah! Whoa-ho! I heard ruckus! I know! Just a human! I see humans not often, huh? Why humans come to snows? You, on spiritual journey? You look for true self? Sure. Uh, 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 uh. You look for a long time. That was joke. Daddy's joke too, huh? You look for something else, huh? Tell truth. Uh... You already said yeah. Say no. Oh, okay. Apparently there's a right answer, I guess. You ruled. You look for something else. I would say yes, then. Jeez, whatever. Ah, you look for mirror in such faraway place? I'm trying to imagine ah, what ah, his ah, penis ah, is looking like. Why you not say so before? But you make good climb, and you're lucky to beat me. I found shiny mirror piece. Same mirror you look for, huh? I got from Goodwill. Ah, you come to house and see yourself. I got fish. I make you hot meal at least. My house far away. We slide there, huh? Do like me. Come. Can I just ride? Come! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So roll into that tree. <coughs> get yourself sled. I just understand why we couldn't have just ridden on him. Right. I see what you want to do. Good job. Oh, yes. I am a dodo maker. I need to look at penises now. <laughs> it is my job to look at penises. Right. Alright, so it says this is pretty easy to do. Just don't, uh... Just don't, uh, fall off, basically. Let's you can press A to jump. You can press A to jump. When you crouch, you can do jumps. Oh, okay. And this time it's not a race. You're just trying to get through it. And I guess crouching speeds you up too, I guess. We can help. Right. Oh, well, maybe we'll find out. Right. Right, you're going to have to jump here. Nicely done. We. We. Oh, here's a ramp. Wee! Right? Trees! Right, trees everywhere! Trees! Trees for days! Alright, so I think you're about to be coming up on a part where you can actually fall off. So just be careful. Where am I supposed to go? You're just continuing straight. There aren't that many places you can go. You do great, huh? I think here's the part where you can fall off, technically. Oh. I mean, here's a narrow part, too. You just don't fall. And you'll be fine. But you can definitely fall here. <laughs> nice. Oh, there you go. Sharp left. So we're going to have a sharp right according to the map. We And there is bridge. <laughs> there we go. 
All right. So now you can just go inside. And that is the Eddie's house and our next dungeon. Okay. <coughs> Much mansion. Much mansion. Reminds me of Luigi's mansion, actually. Yeah. All right, we're gonna call an episode here. Make sure to click like and subscribe, and we will see you next time in the trash pile. Bye. Bye.